Hello everybody! In this video I will show you the commands which let you use command prompt as a file manager. That is, to find, copy, rename, create and delete files or folders and so on. You may need these functions when your operating system fails or crashes, or for any other reason. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. In our previous videos, we have already shown how to start command prompt, including cases when Windows can't boot, and methods using Windows Recovery Environment. You can find the links to the corresponding videos in the description. With the following commands, you can use command prompt to do the following. Open the folder this PC. To do it, enter user in it. To go to a certain folder in a hard or a movable disk or change directory, use the command cd. Type cd and the path to the folder in the command prompt. For example, if you need to go to Documents folder, enter the path after the command. Valery is the username, and in your case it will be different. As you can see, now you got to Documents folder. With the help of command dir, uh, we can see the list of files and folders in this folder. If you are looking for a file or folder but you don't know their location, you can also find it with dir command, but this time using values b and s. For example, if I need to find a file with the name document.docx, I will enter the following command. If you are looking for a file but you don't know it, its extension, replace the extension with an asterisk. The command will show all files with such name, no matter what their extensions are. If you need to find a folder, enter the same command with the folder name, but without an extension, unlike in the case with the file. Now that I've found the file I need, I can also open it with the help of command prompt. For this purpose, command start is used. Enter it like this. Put command first and pass to the file second. This way, you can open any file. You can create a copy of a file or folder with command copy. To do it, enter the command, the path to the file being copied, and the folder where you want to copy the file to. To copy all files in a folder, put asterisks instead of file names and extensions. If you need to create a copy of the entire disk keeping its directory tree, use the following command xcopy. In this case, all contents of disk E will be copied to disk C into the folder named New Folder. To create a folder to which you will copy files later, use command md, and after that enter the path to the folder and the folder name.
you can rename a file with the same command, which we used to change file extensions in one of the previous videos. Command ran. Find the link to the video in the description. Type in the command prompt. If you need to change document docx into journal docx in the current folder. If you didn't use command prompt to go to the folder where a file needs to be renamed, then enter the path to the file which you are going to rename. Folders can be renamed in the same way, only you don't have to enter any file extensions. To delete a file folder, use command del, after which you have to enter the path and name for the file folder you are trying to delete. With the help of command prompt, you can also manage archives, create, view, extract, and so on. Every archiver program has its own syntax for this purpose. That is, to archive files with command prompt, you must have some archiver installed. For example, let's have a look at 7-zip free archiver. To create a zip archive, go to the directory where the archiver is installed. See Program Files 7-zip. The command itself is like this. In this example, we archive the contents of folder C, Users, Valeri, Documents, New Folder and save them as a file New Folder Zip. You can see 7-zip keys by running the command 7z help, after going to the directory where the program is installed. To view the archive contents, use the command l. Extract the file from the archive. To close command prompt, enter the command exit. To log off from Windows, the command log off. To turn off the computer, shut down with the value S. Certainly, it was just a small portion of command prompt commands, yet, if necessary, you can use them to do some basic things to your files and folders. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. In our channel, you can also find a lot of interesting videos to help you install and adjust Windows, clean the system from viruses and repair data storage devices. Thank you for watching and good luck!